So finally here today, I want to discuss an industry that is being transformed in the data era, and that is the transportation industry. Intel acquired Mobileye a few years ago to help us accelerate the transformation of the transportation industry, particularly in the shift to autonomous driving. Um, and what I'd like to do now is invite out our senior vice president and Mobileye CEO, Professor Amnon Ashashua, to join me here today to provide an update on the work that he's up to in this exciting space. Welcome, Amnon. Thanks, Naveen. It was indeed a great, great year for great Intel and Mobileye. So what have you been up to, Amnon? A lot going on uh, in 2018 and so far in 2019 already, I think. But we, we have been making great progress both on autonomous driving and driving assist. Our leadership in uh, driving assist is as strong as ever. In 2018, 16 models have received uh, you know, the five-star Euro NCAP uh, rating, 12 of them mobile inside. Uh -huh. As an example of our latest and greatest, uh, this uh, BMW uh, X5, it comes with a trifocal camera configuration that was launched last year with an IQ4 chip. The trifocal setting leverages both wide field of view and narrow field of view to get range and, 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 and to get also coverage, uh, um, spatial uh, coverage. Uh, the customer functions like long range hazard uh, detection, traffic light uh, recognition, uh, vehicles from any angle are all industry first uh, customer functions. And this camera, and this, this, uh, this, this device has a lot more than just the front facing camera. Well, this is the, the production version is front facing and we have now, we fitted this car with 12 cameras. Three of them are, are the production uh, version and, and included this car as part of our uh, autonomous car uh, fleet. So it follows our vision, vision centric approach where we do a full stack end to end capability running it in autonomous car, self-driving car, using only cameras, and then later adding radars and, and ladders to, uh, to get a full uh, redundancy. Yeah. Other than the sensors, there's, there's a bunch of compute in this car as well. Tell, tell us a little bit about well, that. Right now, there are eight IQ4s, but early next year, there are going to be three IQ5 chips, which would be ready for, uh, ready for production, which will give us both power consumption and almost infinite computing power that we'll need. Uh-huh. So what about the uh, IQ5? So about that, in addition to uh, um, autonomous cars, we have here, this is the first IQ5 uh, board together with the BMW and Aptiv. This is part of a 2021 production program uh, from level three to level four and is uh, running on an IQ5 chip. We have also volume productions of over 8 million units already for, uh, wow. for IQ5. That's amazing. So when can I finally go buy one of these things, Amnon? Tell, tell me about that. Well, from a t technology perspective, we're working towards 2021. We've been consistent about that since 2016. But you know, the industry is, is, is evolving and uh, Intel needs to prepare various uh, solutions to match the needs of numerous different you know, value nodes from silicon only, all the way up to a turnkey autonomous vehicle solution, up to a mobility as a service. And you recently, I know you announced last year a partnership with Volkswagen to, to, to get, do this mobility as a service. Why, why is that such a big deal? Tell us about that. Well, it's, it's a breakthrough on a number of fronts. First, you know, the company of the size of and the reputation of Volkswagen relying on Intel through Mobileye to supply a full stack self-driving system that consists of a silicon, software, hardware, planning, control, mapping. Second, the joint venture is supported by the Israeli government from the point of view of reducing and working on, on regulatory barriers to allow commercialization of autonomous uh, cars. Now, the most critical element in, in, in these regulatory barriers is how to standardize safety where robot taxis share the road with human uh, drivers. So you are expected to be both safe and agile at the same time, and, and this creates a, a conflict. So at Mobileye, we, we developed an open standard we call Responsibility Sensitive Safety, or RSS, and it finds a sweet spot between safety and agility while providing formal uh, guarantees. So let's take a quick uh, peek about how it looks like in a challenging environment like, uh, like roads in Jerusalem. So what we see up there, is a car blocking, uh, blocking the highway. It's a dense, packed uh, highway. And you see other cars are trying, moving their way out, changing, uh, changing lanes. And you see the, the 
Intel vehicle with the logo on, 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 on the, the, black on the one roof, the black one, one which yeah. is now finding its way assertively and safely uh, changing a lane. And you'll see this now from under the hood, inside. On the right hand, you'll see uh, uh, boxes representing uh, vehicles. The color codes, the red and the green, are which vehicle the, the car decides to take away or give away. And you see how it's changing, fighting its way through, negotiating through traffic in a very, very agile manner. Yeah, that's so really impressive, Amnon. So tell, tell us a little bit more, because the maps are fundamental into making something like that happen. So tell us about what you're doing in that, in that space. Well, of course, this year we had some exciting results on our efforts to create global high definition, high definition maps. Uh, we just finished mapping our first country, all of Japan highways. It's a total of 25,000 kilometer wow. in a completely automatic uh, process, literally with a push of a button based on crowdsourced data from Nissan's uh, fleet. So this is in contrast to a conventional manual labor, expensive recording equipment of conventional high definition map uh, construction of today. So for example, we have just embarked on a partnership with the world's leading mapping agency, Ordnance uh, Survey, the National Mapping Agency of the UK. We are launching an initial data service offering with them for utility companies in, in the UK. So to leverage the landmark detection and semantic data that we extract from our cameras, we, we refer to our camera as an intelligent agent. And uh, uh, all this data is picked up at, at very, very high accuracy. So this data will be harvested by fleet vehicles outfitted with our retrofit system, the Mobili 8 uh, Connect. So here's a taste of what it might look like. So through the, it's this film that you are going to, uh, to see, shows the, kind of, uh, the kinds of data that we're going to extract. So it's, it's you know, imagine that you, know, you can match under the road data like water pipe and, and, and gas lines with over the road data like manholes, drain holes, telegraph poles, all of those detected by the camera system. Don't forget that of course this also means that we'll map the UK for autonomous uh, driving. So that's great, Amnon. Uh, you said you mentioned some en enhanced features there. What, what, what are those about? Well, by using technologies developed in the AV uh, sphere, we are innovating around driving assist to bring it a whole new level, much safer than today's uh, driving assist. But I think we'll leave that for my talk uh, tomorrow. So <laughs> okay, stay great. tuned. Okay, so Amnon's got an hour tomorrow. If you're interested in hearing more, his talk is at 11.30. Thank you so much. Great Thank progress, you, Amnon. Thank, Thank you, you very much.